Hey yo, it's Brian here. The game is over now between the Niners and the Cowboys. And man, that was a hard attacking game. I mean, this is typical 49er football. 23-17, I'll take this win. And credit to the 49ers, they played really well, fought really hard. They had some injuries. They were able to get through adversity. And yeah, that was the game right there. Cowboys, I mean, they played a good game, but for the most part, they really shot themselves in the foot. All those penalties, what was it, 14-15 in this whole game? So they gave a lot of opportunities to the 49ers in order for us to win this game. And I got to thank the Cowboys for that. There you have it right there. Good performances, I would say. Elijah Mitchell, he played really well. Debo Samuel, he played really well. He was just a couple of inches short on getting that first down before the end of the game. But, you know, it is a game of inches. You got to be really careful. So, it is what it is. Big winners, defense, they played really well against Dak Prescott and company. They were able to stop him for the most part. Minus the Jimmy Garoppolo interception. I thought the 49ers played the best football that they could against a really good team. And I would definitely take it, take it, take it. And I know Cowboy fans, I mean, it was really weird. I saw a lot of Cowboy fans. They were crying for some reason. That was just weird on television. But, hey, you can cry now because you guys are out of the playoffs, unfortunately. But I will take this win. And the only big loser, I would say, is Jimmy Garoppolo with that interception. I mean, we would have had to look back at that interception again because they were able to score a touchdown along with that. And if that was the end of the 49ers run right there, Jimmy Garoppolo probably would have said goodbye to the 49ers. But luckily, they were able to pull this off, keep their lead alive, and being able to play the Packers next week, which I'm so excited for to talk about this week, definitely. So, again... Congrats to the 49ers, coaching staff, everybody. Clean football for the most part, minus that turnover. And they did a really good job against Dak Prescott and company. And the 49ers, Kyle Shanahan, they did a really good job planning against this 40 Cowboys defense. So I, I don't know what else to say. I was just so hyped for this game. First half, third quarter, I was good. But then the fourth quarter, they almost broke my heart, definitely. I'm pretty sure they almost broke your hearts as well. But they were able to pull it off. They were able to pull it off. But Dak Prescott at the end, he was kind of an idiot for whatever reason for running. And then they didn't have time to set it and the game was over. They, they really should have thrown the ball or something like that because they probably would have given him a little bit more time. And they were having success on that last drive, but they decided, he decided to run the ball. And it would have been a good decision if they had a timeout, but unfortunately they didn't. And that's the end of the game right there. And so if I'm looking at it, looking for a preview for the Green Bay Packers, that's going to be a fun one as well. Rematch from the week four, week five game in 2021. The Packers won by just a hair bit with the Mason Crosby field goal. Aaron Rodgers, he destroyed our secondary. That was the big theme right there. So I'm pretty sure the 49ers are going to go back to the drawing boards in the next day or two and look forward to seeing how to stop Devontae Adams and all their great receivers. Also, Aaron Jones, he had a pretty good game against us on that regular season meeting. So yeah, hoping for a good matchup. Differences, it'll be a Lambeau field. It's going to be really cold up there. I think they're going to do a good job, but you never know. We'll see what happens there. So 49ers, players, coaches, executives, congratulations on this win. Fans, let's enjoy this win. Let's celebrate. And yeah, I'm getting a lot of text messages for congratulations for this game. A lot of them don't know I make YouTube videos. So, you know, I'm just going to say congratulations to them. But th for those that are known to for my YouTube channel, then yeah, Hopefully you guys support me, definitely. So, yep, that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for listening to this real quick. I'm just so happy I'm just so happy for the 49ers and the way they won this game. Very dramatic fashion. It shouldn't have to come down to this, but hey, I'll take a win any day of the week against the Dallas Cowboys. And by the way, I don't hate the Dallas Cowboys at all because I wasn't really alive for the 1990s rivalry. So I don't really have any hate or love about them. I We only play them a few times in my lifetime, I don't really play them too much in terms of 25 years after the Super Bowl for both teams. So it's, the hate's not really there for me. But still, it's nice to beat the Cowboys, right? So, yep, that's it, guys. I'll catch you guys up tomorrow or Tuesday when I predict the game against the Green Bay Packers to talk more about it. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Enjoy this win. And go Niners all day. Let's go Niner Empire.